Oscar Robinson of the Cincinnati Royals, a truly gifted player, fantastically alert for rebounds, the third highest scorer in the NBA, and one of its very finest playmakers. But there were a lot of players when I started playing basketball, especially in the pros and also in the high school were just as big as I was. Uh, but um, I could handle the ball, dribble the ball, make the passes, you know, I tried to help other people. Oscar Robertson would find many ways to help his teams win. He was a shooter with deadly precision, a tenacious and fearless rebounder, and a playmaker with extraordinary passing skills. At 6'5", Oscar was the game's original big guard, dominating the court with a combination of power and grace. His skill level was so high, um, you know, the, the little feints, the uh, wonderful ability to handle the basketball, plus his size, you know, he was big. To play against Oscar at 6'5", probably 220 pounds, he was a force. I knew that if I had to play Oscar, the best that I could do was try to hold him under 25 points a game. Oscar's the best player I ever played against. I mean, the guy did not have a weakness. As an African-American athlete in the 50s and turbulent early 60s, Oscar was, by definition, a pioneer. I came up in an all-black environment in Indianapolis, Indiana, an all-black high school. Uh, we played in a lot of uh, predominantly all-white schools. There were a few blacks on some of the schools. And, 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 and you know, you, you, you know, you're downtrodden to begin with, so you want to win. You want to win to get you out of a situation. And when he became the first black basketball player at the University of Cincinnati, the obstacles he faced only fueled his determination. I didn't think anyone could stop me. I didn't think anyone could uh, keep you from your, 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 your goals. Entering the NBA with the Cincinnati Royals in 1960, Robertson quickly made his mark as one of the league's best young players. He did not look like a rookie. I mean, I played like a rookie my first year. He did not. Oscar Robertson! I had to guard Oscar. I've never seen him play. Frank Selby and I were starting guard. And he told me in a locker room before the game, he said, you're going to guard the greatest basketball player that ever played this game. <laughs> That's a pretty strong statement. And he was talking about Oscar Robertson. And you know what? He was right. Just two years later, he incredibly averaged a triple-double for an entire season, a feat that's never been duplicated. I don't know if it could have happened today. He sort of ran the show. He controlled the ball all the time. Rising to NBA stardom at the same time was a guard for the Los Angeles Lakers named Jerry West. He and Oscar would forge a legendary rivalry. West and Robertson were kind of the miniature Chamberlain and Russell. I mean, they were by far the most outstanding guards. Jerry was a great basketball player. I was more of an inside player, penetrating. He was a tremendous shot. I used to hear Bird against Johnson. Well, they never guarded each other. A Chamberlain against Russell, they guarded each other. Robertson and West, we guarded each other. Robertson was so much more mature than West in the beginning. And he was so much better than West when they first started. I'm not saying West wasn't good. It's terrible to feel like somebody has an advantage over you in any, anything that you do. And there's no question he had an advantage early in my career. After four or five years, uh, there was definitely a rivalry. Oscar was a sports hero in Cincinnati. But after a decade as the star of the Royals, he was traded to the Milwaukee Bucks in 1970. The Milwaukee Bucks have, have moved from being, I think, a good team to the stature of being a great team with the addition of the big old Oscar Robertson. Milwaukee already had one of the game's most dominant big men in Lou Alcindor, later to become Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And the acquisition of Robertson was a perfect fit. Lou, what has the addition of Oscar Robertson to the Bucks meant to your ball club? Well, uh, in, in Oscar, we have somebody that can uh, do the job all the time. You know, we have consistency. We have excellent consistency, you know, which is what we need in the backcourt. In 1971, just the third year of existence for the expansion Bucks, the Big O finally achieved his dream of winning an NBA championship. 
I played against the greatest athletes in the world in basketball that ever will be. No one can ever take that away from me. None, no money in the world is, is worth it for me not to have played during those times.